When you are having problems with leveling your bed on your CTC Prusa MK2 3D printer or some other 3D printers that has a plywood bed frame, then stay tuned at Zachary 3D Prints because we are going to solve the problem. Coming up on Zachary 3D Prints. Hello, this is Zachary from Zachary 3D Prints, bringing you how to reviews and many other cool things you can do with 3D printing. If you are new to the channel and not subscribed yet, please consider subscribing. I've got also some social media links, I will put the links in the description of this video. And you can also support my YouTube channel, Zachary 3D Prints at Patreon. The link I will put in the description of this video. Like mentioned in the intro, today we are going to exchange the plywood bed frame on the CTC Prusa i3 MK2 3D printer. It can also be a different kind of brand i3 uh, 3D printer, but the basic thing is that plywood is going to be exchanged for a metal version. This one I ordered on AliExpress, it's not that expensive. I bought, some, uh, bought it for something like uh, till. 80 uh, euros so in dollars it shouldn't also be that expensive it came in like in two three weeks so that's fair i also took the opportunity to order some different kind of adjusters or bad screws not that they are too bad but heat bad screws they are better they also have the yellow springs on it so that would be more fun to level your bed because i had some problems i was trying to figure out what was wrong with my bed frame because i tried different kind of ways to level my bed but it wouldn't work i always had some problems with front left side of the 3d printer and then i thought well i'm going to take the bed off and see what is wrong and there i found out plywood was cracked on the front side and that was the reason why my bed was constantly not level enough. I think, <laughs> without any craziness, I don't think this is uh, any bent or cracked. I checked it, it's, it's very level. Uh, but let's stop the chit chat and let's get into today's video. Before I start with it, let's make sure that we have all the parts that we need to make a successful exchange because the screws you don't really need to exchange it but it makes it more easier for leveling your bed also with the yellow springs i don't have to mention that again but some other parts you need because i found out that the wooden ones on the bed frame are not that good they have to be reprinted so I start my journey on Thingiverse. I also tried to find that on my mini factory and I couldn't find any of that. Well, I could, but then I got like something like this. The problem is that these are based on the holes for the i3, but not for this one. Because yes, they could fit a metal bearing, linear bearing, but the holes would not align. So I thought, well, let's find something else. I also tried this one, but in earlier stage, I found out with my caliper that also the holes were not correct. They also mismatched. So it's way too far spread. So I thought, well, just resize it a little bit, but also looks good, but doesn't work. Then I tried this one, also the same story. It, they fit the lineal bearing, but the holes were not that great they're all based upon the ones that are on the i3 so then i thought well if i cannot find it maybe i have to make it just like one of my other videos when you are going to look for something very specific for your 3d printer you have to make it yourself i will put the link in the description of this video but also in the right corner you will find it hey, then i came up with this idea and it's 
nearly perfect. Why? Because some shrinkage, some other things, but all the lines are, all the holes are lining up with the ones that I have here. So if you look carefully, I hope you can see it. All holes are aligned with the bed frame ones. So I'm going, I, I did a, a few prints, I tested and it's great. They also fit around the lineal bearing because that is one important thing. The version that I'm going to upload will be a little bit different because this is very thin. It will work, no problem, but they are a little fragile. I don't think it will break, but before it's going to break, I'm going to make sure that it won't. And also one other thing that I'm going to use, because if you look carefully, I've got four holes here for the, for the Y belt uh, holder. So I find it and this one is fitting because the one that is on the bed frame, uh, on the plywood bed frame, it has just two holes. And yeah, well, it doesn't really work that well. Um, like you can see, I've got here a hole and here one, but I'm going to use the four holes on the sides and I'm going to use, reuse the screws that are on the bed. Just like I mentioned, I'm going to stop the chat chat and let's get into today's video. So without any more saying, let's start the disassembling from the hot bed from the bed frame. So like you can see, it's not that difficult to remove the plywood bed frame from your 3D printer. I'm going to reuse some of the parts like the screws and, and the nuts. Um, yeah, tie wraps, you cannot reuse them because I cut them. You also can take the this part of the 3D printer. I wouldn't recommend it because in this kind of way, you can snap the lineal bearing holders just on top of it. So we are going to take the screws and nuts off the old bed frame and we are going to use it for the new lineal bearings on the metal bed frame. So now we are going to test fit if it is well done. So like you can see, I have used not four screws per uh, lineal bearing holder. Now I just used two ones and I did in the opposite direction. I didn't tie them all the way down. Like you can see, I used a washer on this side and a washer on this side to make sure that the screw is not going downwards and I also have some room to, to play with if I'm going to adjust it a little bit more. But like you can see, the middle holes here are going to be used for the uh, zip tie that I'm going to use to hold the lineal bearing in place so that it doesn't run out of it. So now I'm going to test fit it and look if it is correct. Just place it on top of it. First, first okay. Fits. Also, for the back side, it also touches the end stop. So I'm happy with the result.
so I need to grease the here a little bit more. But now we are going to install the Y belt holder. So, I don't know if you can hear it, but it's raining outside. And what more perfect is it to work on things like 3D printing and repairing your maybe broken 3D printers. So, like you can see, the Y-belt holder is now in its place. Like you can see, I used some nuts to keep the belt as tight as possible. I'm now also going to use some zip ties to make sure that the timing belt is not moving around. So I'm going to in, uh, do that and install it on my heat bed frame or on my bed frame and then I'm going to install it. So like you can see it will fit in there. I need to make some little adjustments. Yeah it fits. So now I'm going to use some zip ties to make sure that this keeps as tight as possible and then I'm going to install it on my bed frame. Like you can see, I had some difficulties with lining these holes with these holes. So I, I took the drill, I just re-drilled it uh, on just one side and it fits perfectly. Be aware, I was using PLA plastic. You can also use PTEG or ABS plastic. Better is to use ABS or PTEG. This one is also fitted, but don't over tighten them because they can break. It's plastic still. So now I'm going to install it back to my 3D printer. So like you can see, it was a job that is not that difficult but also not that easy because you have to be aware of the timing timer belt that it is tight enough uh, i still have some adjustment that i can do but now i'm going to install the thumb screws for the heat bed And it is installed. That is that easy. I put the bed all the way down as much as possible because I also still need to work on the end stop because like you can see the bed is a quite a bit higher than the level that I have at this moment. Uh, all the corners are level. The bed is now level and because of a metal bed frame my bed level is better than before because like i mentioned the plywood frame was cracked on one side and now i changed it for a metal version it's from anet uh, nothing wrong with this part i also took the opportunity to change the thumb screws in better qualities with yellow springs that i'm also using for the ender 3 pro I will put every link from the parts that I use, I will put in the description of this video. Also the lineal bearing holders, I will put a link in the description of this video where you can get them. Uh, I will post them probably on Thingiverse, but if I 
don't manage it to do it there i will put some other link in the description of the video so that you can also use this holder so that being said so to wrap up this video it's not that difficult to exchange your plywood bed frame with a metal version of it uh, this one is a very good one it's five millimeters thick steel and it's handling pretty well i also took the opportunity to exchange the uh, wing nut thumb screws for better ones with of course yellow bed springs that are also on my uh, ender 3 pro they came in a bundle i will put from every product that i used i put a link in the description of the video so that you can buy it the uh, parts that i couldn't make myself like the bed frame and the yellow spring bundle so i'll put, put the link of those two parts that i bought on aliexpress in the description of this video you can also buy it i guess on amazon i'll also put a link in there and i will put also the link from the lineal bearings that i created i put a link in the description of this video so that you can also download it and uh, 3d print it it's not that difficult to install it like i mentioned it's raining outside and it's a great opportunity to exchange this because my ender 3 pro is a good working 3d printer but my ctc prusa had some difficulties and one of them was a bad bad level every single time now that is um, solved there are some upgrades that are coming uh, i got some things here that i want to put on the ctc prusa i3 mk2 3d printer so that was it for today's video thanks for watching please like this video subscribe to zachary 3d prints and happy 3d printing zachary 3d prints bye bye